Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo right here. Protesters take to D.C. streets and in front of White House for the fifth night. Protesters have taken to the streets of D.C. for the fifth straight night, calling for justice after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. D.C. police chief said in a news conference Tuesday morning with mayor that they were expecting protests out again Tuesday night in the city. Black Lives Matter DC issued an alert calling for protesters to gather at Lafayette Square in front of the White House at 5 p.m. BLM cautioned to wear a mask and plan to stay past curfew in Stay safe. D.C. police arrested more than 300 people Monday night for violating the 7 p.m. curfew in the fourth night of protest after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis, D.C. police chief said. The chief said he was alerted by federal authorities shortly before 6.30 p.m. Monday that there would be a movement of President Trump outside the White House. Within minutes, federal officers began to forcefully remove people protesting peacefully and lawfully from Lafayette Square. People were tear gassed and shot with rubber bullets, according to numerous witnesses. D.C. police chief said people in the square were warned ahead of time that they would have to vacate the square, but protesters and reporters said they never heard a warning before police moved in, many of them on horseback. After Lafayette Square was cleared, the president walked outside the gates of the White House and walked across the street through the square to stand in front of St. John's Church. In a photo op, he waved a Bible and declared the United States is the greatest country in the world. D.C. police chief said D.C. police did not participate in the movement of the president from the White House to St. John's Church. A D.C. man says he sheltered about 70 protesters who were allegedly corralled and pepper sprayed by police on Monday night in Northwest. The curfew in the district ended at 6 a.m. and the protesters left his home safely and peacefully. The man says at about 8.30 p.m. he was sitting outside and saw police set up a bridge on 15th Street and Swan Street Northwest that turned into a holding area. Police started People started sitting on his porch and asked if they could charge their phone in his, his bathroom, he said. A massive Black Lives Matter protest for George Floyd got underway in Maryland Tuesday afternoon. And that does it for this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this evening news report. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night and bye, everyone.